Hello everyone and welcome back. So in our last lecture of Green's theorem, we did only one example. So in this particular lecture, we'll do some more examples. So before uh, starting the examples, let us uh, check the Green's theorem once again. So this is the statement, right? I think you all remember closed integration over C, P dx plus Q dy is equals to how much? Double integration over R del q by del x minus del p by del y whole into dx dy okay so here p and q are continuous function and their partial derivatives are exist okay now let us go to example number two so kindly uh, go through the previous lecture before coming to this particular lecture where we did only one problem but now again the first problem is verify green's theorem so in our last lecture also we did one problem where we verify Green's theorem for a particular problem. So, in this particular problem, you see, this is our P, this is P, and this is our what? Q. But, in this particular problem, we have taken two conditions. This is one, this is another. So, first is Y equal to root X. So, if you square it, what you will get? Y square equals to X. That means, this is again a parabola. So, in condition number 1, we have two different parabolas. One is y square equals to x, which will be symmetrical about positive x-axis, and then y equal to x square, which will be symmetrical about uh, positive x-axis. Oh, no, sorry, this is y square equals to x will be uh, symmetrical about positive x-axis, and y equal to x square will be symmetrical about positive y-axis. So, let us draw the diagram. So, solution number 1. So, as I told in the last example also, the diagram is very much important. So, first we have to make one diagram. So, first is what? Y square equals to X or Y equal to root X, whatever you say. So, this parabola will get, right? And then second one is Y equal to X square. So, Y equal to X square will be like this. Y equal to X square. Then we have to consider this particular area okay this particular area this point is a this point sorry is o origin is o the second point is a and if we draw one perpendicular let this point be how much b now see uh, this point will be obvious 0 0 but we have to find the coordinate of a so how we how we find the coordinate of a so, we have two equations. So, here y equals to root x, this is number 1, and then y equals to how much x square, this is number 2, equation number 2. So, first we have to solve these two equations. Now, if you check both uh, left hand side is y and y, so root x equals to how much x square. So, if you square both sides, x square will be x to the power 4. If we take x square common, 1 minus x square equals to how much? 0. So, after solving, you will get two value. x equal to 0 and then what? 1. Now, if you put these two value, either in equation 1 or equation 2, so you will get y equals to 0 and y equals to 1. So, what is the coordinate of this particular point? Coordinate of A is 1, 1. So, coordinate of B is 1, 0. Okay. So, as I told in the last video, so we have from O to uh, to cover this whole closed curve, suppose first we have to go from this direction, down direction, and then again we have to come back from A to O. So, this is our approach to solve this particular problem. Okay, now let us uh, try to find the solution. So, since it's verify Green's theorem, so what to do? We have to find uh, left hand side first. So, our left hand side is what? Integration over C closed integration over C and then what? P dx plus Q dy. So, let us find the integral. Uh, let us write the integral. What is the integral? Uh, 3x square minus 8y square dx. This is our P dx. Then 4y minus 6y, 6xy dy. Okay. So, what to do? First, we have to go along this, this from O to A and then we will come back from A to O. So, along, along, so if we go like this, no, O to A, 
I'm talking about this uh, blue line O to A, then this parabola is this is y equal to x square, and this particular parabola is y equals to how much root x. So along y equal to x square, along y equals to x square. So this integral let it be i1. So integration now we'll, what we do we'll put either limit of x or limit of y. So y equal to x square means which path? This one. O to a. Okay. O to a. So at O x is 0. So here x equal to 0. And at a x equals to how much? 1. And then we just uh, write 3x square. All the variables should be in terms of x minus 8y square. Now you see here y square will be how much? Y is x, y equal to x square. So y square will be x to the power 4 dx plus 4y again y so y you have to replace by x square then 6 into x into y is how much x square and in place of dy if we differentiate both sides dy equals to how much twice x dx okay now all the term are in terms of what x now simply what to do we have to integrate it okay so let us integrate it 3 into it will be x cube by 3 it will become x to the power 5 by 5 between the limit 0 to 1 plus now what to do here we have 4x square right 4x square and outside we have twice x so it will be 8x cube so if you integrate it 8 into x to the power 4 by 4 okay minus 12 then x x to the power 4 so if we integrate it you will get x to the power 5 by 5 between the limit 0 to 1 okay now just what to do you have to put the limit upper limit and then lower limit so lower limit is 0 everything will be 0 so just calculate it exactly minus 1 you will get okay from this particular part now see along uh, when you find i1 no when you find i1 we go from O to A. Now we have to come back from A to O. So from A to O at A, the limit of X is how much? 1. And the limit of X is how much? Uh, limit of X at O is how much? 0. So you can take the limit of Y also, no problem. But it's better if you take the limit of what? Mm. X. So the second part will be like this. Along. Along y equals to how much root x that means we are talking about a to o x varies from x varies from 1 to 0 okay so let us denote this integration by i2 so i2 equals to our integration x equals to 1 to 0 okay then the first term is how much 3x square so it will remain same 3x square minus 8 into y square okay y square now y is how much root x so y square will be x dx plus 4y okay so 4 y is how much root x minus 6x again y is how much root x and then dy so you have to change it so y is how much root x so if you differentiate it ddx of root x is 1 by 2 root x dx so it will be 1 by 2 root x dx. Okay, so now integrate it. So 3 into integration x square is how much? x cube by 3, 3, 3 cancel out. Minus 8 into x square by 2 plus. Now see, when you multiply these two terms, no? 4 root x, then 1 by 2 root x, root x, root x cancel out. 4 into 2, you will have only 2. So if you integrate it, you will get twice x minus. Now when you multiply these two, root x, root x cancel, right? Root x and root x cancel. 1, 2 will be cancelled out. You have 3x. So 3 into integration x is how much? x square by 2 between the limit 1 to 0. Okay. So first you put the upper limit means 0 and then you put the lower limit which is 1. So when you put all the limit, so exactly you will get 5 by 2. So this is the value of i2. Now, therefore, I, total integral, is the sum of 
i1 and i2. So our i1 is minus 1, i2 is how much? 5 by 2. Okay. So this is nothing but 3 by 2. So this is the left hand side of the Green's theorem. Now we will find the right side. So the, our diagram is like this. Two point coordinate of a is zero over zero. Coordinate of a is how much? One comma one. Okay. And this is y equals to root x, and this is our y square equals to how much? X. So how to find the right hand side? Our right hand side will be double integration. Okay. Double integration. Then what will write? Double integration over r. I think you still remember del q by del x minus del p by del y all into what dx dy okay so p is how much you see our p is 3x square minus 8y square so that we have to differentiate and then q is 4y minus 6xy so that you have to differ this q we have to differentiate with respect to x and this particular p we have to differentiate with respect to y so in place of we'll put the limit so i'm keeping it blank now so del q by del x so q is again how much you see this is our q so if this q we will differentiate with respect to x first term will become zero because there is no x and if we differentiate this so how much we'll get we'll get 6y so minus 6y then minus now we have to differentiate p with respect to y so this is our p p we have to differentiate with, with respect to y so first term will become zero because there is no y and if we differentiate this we will get minus 16 y minus so already minus is there right will be minus minus plus 16 y then what dx dy now the limit what i told in the last video the limit of x will be from o to a directly okay from o at o x is how much zero at a x is what one so limit of x is direct zero to one but the limit of y will be from lower curve to upper curve now if you check this particular area no in this particular area lower curve this is the lower curve so at lower curve y equal to how much root x and the upper curve is this one this is the upper curve so at upper curve y equal to how much um, y equal to something i wrote wrong this curve is y square equal to x okay y square equal to x so this will be y equal to x square this is y equal to x square so our lower limit will be this limit will be x square and the upper limit will be what root x so at this particular curve no lower curve at lower curve y is equal to x square and upper curve at upper curve y equal to how much y equal to root x okay so now we have to integrate it so this is equals to integration x equals to 0 to 1 then y equal to x square to root x so this is 10y dx dy so which one we have to integrate first with respect to y because in y in the limit of y we have x so x equals to 0 to 1 10 is constant so you can keep it outside y square by 2 between the limit x square to root x now only dx will be there so 10 by 2 is 5 now if you put the limit Five, then integration 0 to 1 if you put the upper limit it will become x minus if we put the lower limit x to the power 4 dx okay so 5 into x square by 2 minus x to the power 5 by 5 between the limit 0 to 1 so after putting the limit we will get half minus 1 by 5 so let us take LCM, it will be 10, 5 minus 2. This is this cancel. So how much it is? 
3 by 2. Okay. So you see, um, our left hand side is also 3 by 2. Okay. Left hand side is 3 by 2. So similarly, right hand side is also 3 by 2. So what to write? Hence, Green's theorem is verified. Hence, Green's theorem is what? Verified. So it's so simple. Okay. Now let us take the number two part. Okay. This number two part. So I'm talking about this one. This one. So here you see the curve is completely different. X equal to zero, then Y equal to zero, and the third one is X plus Y equals to one. So X equals to zero means Y axis. Y equal to zero is what? X axis and X plus Y. So let me solve it. X equal to zero, Y equal to zero, and third one is X plus Y equals to one. Now in this particular equation, no, if we put X equal to zero, you will get Y equals to one. If we put Y equals to zero, then X equals to what? One. So X zero, Y one. So you'll get this point and then y0 x1 some point like this so this is the line which represent x plus y equals to 1 so we have to be bothered about this particular area o suppose o coordinate is 0 0 a point whose coordinate is 1 0 b point whose coordinate is how much 0 1 okay so first we'll go suppose along oa then a b and then b o like this we'll find the left hand side so along o a now along o a along o a y equal to how much see y equal to zero right along o a y equals to zero and from here to here x varies from here x is zero here x is what one x varies from x varies from 0 to 1. So, let it be i1, x equal to 0 to 1. So, what is the integral? Our integral is uh, 3x square, 3x square minus 8y square, but you see y equal to how much? y equal to 0. So, that will become 0. dx plus next term is 4y minus 6xy dy but see y is 0 no if y is 0 then dy will be completely vanished so it's very simple now so it will be 3 x cube by 3 between the limit 0 to 1 3 3 cancel so you'll get only 1 so first we travel along this path oa now we'll go from a to b along a b so along a b you see both are variable right x is from 1 to 0 and y is from 0 to 1. So, we will choose uh, any one, either x or y. So, let us take y, uh, x, x varies from, x varies from 1 to 0. And a, b, what is the path of a, b? Path of a, b is x plus y equals to 1. So, y equals to 1 minus x. You just remember this. So, let it be i to integration x equal to 1 to 0 so what is the function still remember the function i guess i'm talking about this function 3x square minus 8y square you just write down this somewhere so that you can uh, easily understand okay so our first term will be 3x square so since we are writing the limit in terms of x so x will remain same minus 8 into y square now this is our y Okay, so our y is 1 minus x. So it will be 1 minus x whole square dx. So we have to convert y in terms of x. Then plus, next is 4x, uh, 4y, 4 into y. y is 1 minus x minus 6xy. Again, y is 1 minus x. Okay, 1 minus x. dx, not dx, dy. So, how to find dy? From here, dy will be equals to uh, minus dx. Minus dx. 
okay now you have to multiply each and all you have to break the square here and do the calculation so i'm not doing the calculation otherwise the video will be a little bit long so after calculation you will get 8 by 3 okay so if you get some different answer kindly write in the comment box and then finally what we'll do first we travel from o to a then a to b now we'll have to come back from b to o to complete the this uh, complete this simple cross close curve b to o now you see from b to o b to o the limit of x is same so we have to take the limit of y now so y varies from 1 to 0 and what x equals to 0 just remember this thing when you come from b to o we cannot take the limit of x because here x is 0 here also x is 0 so we have to take the limit of y okay along b o x equal to 0 y varies from y varies from 1 to 0 so let it be i3 so limit of y is uh, y equals to 1 to 0 first term no need to write because something into dx is there since x equal to 0 so dx will become 0 so first term will be 0 next is 4y minus 6xy but again x is 0 then dy so it becomes again simple 4 into y square by 2 between the limit 1 to 0 okay so if you put the limit you will get minus 2 now what to do for to get i we have to combine all i1 plus i2 plus i3 so our i1 is 1 i2 is 8 by 3 then minus 2 so after calculation you will get 5 by 3 okay so this is our left hand side now we will find the right hand side so which is what double integration of our r del q by del x minus del p by del y whole into dx dy so this is equals to integration limit of x so the limit of x is from 0 to 1 let let me tell, explain you once again see what we'll do we'll do uh, we'll take the limit of x directly from here to here so at o x is 0 at a limit of x is how much 1 and limit of y is from lower curve to upper curve so at lower curve y equal to 0 at upper curve i am talking about this curve at upper curve y equal to how much 1 minus x okay so limit of y is 0 to 1 minus x now del q by del x so in uh, number 1 we have already find all these things it's 6y plus 16y dx dy okay so first we have to integrate it with respect to uh, y so it's 10y 10 is constant integration of y is y square by 2 between the limit 0 to 1 minus x dx okay so 5 then integration x equal to 0 to 1 if you put the limit 1 minus x whole square minus 0 dx so again you integrate it after integration how much you have to get you will get 5 by 3 so it means it is also verified okay verified so again this part is this type of problems are very simple yeah the conditions may be different for different different problem the last problem we, we we got in the last lecture one is a straight line another one is what parabola here here first part is both are parabola and here x axis y axis and a line which cuts both x axis and y axis okay. so let us do one last problem so this is something different this is not verify okay we have to integrate this or we have to find the value of this particular part so you see what is given what are the given condition x equal to 0 x equal to a y equal to 0 y equal to b so if you want to draw the diagram x equal to 0 means we are talking about x axis y axis and then uh, y equal to 0 is our x axis then there is a line x equal to a so x equal to a means what is a straight line parallel to y axis then y equal to b is a straight line parallel to what x axis so we will we'll, we'll have this particular diagram 
okay this particular diagram this line is x equal to a this is our y equal to b so we have a uh, rectangle shape okay so before finding the what to find closed integration over say f bar dot dr bar so we need to find f bar dot dr bar so our f bar is x square minus y square i cap plus 2xy j cap this is one part then dot what uh, dr bar so r bar is given so dr bar means what dx i cap plus dy j cap so when you find the dot product so you, you know dot product i cap dot i cap is one so it will become x square minus y square dx and then 2 x y dy so it's very simple first we have to find f bar dot r bar after that we'll find the integral part so the our integral part will be like this integration integration over c f bar dot d r bar okay d r bar so if when you find f bar dot r bar no both the integral are present okay so what is the form this is p dx plus q dy right if you still remember green's theorem if we consider this as p p dx plus q dy so this is of the form integration p dx plus q dy so directly we can write green's theorem what double integration over r right del q by del q by del x minus del p by del y all into what dx dy so now you have to write, write, put the limit of x so limit of x will be from direct so at this point x equal to what zero and at this point x equal to how much a so zero to a and limit of y is from lower curve to upper curve so this is our lower curve at lower curve y equal to zero and an upper curve y equals to how much b and then del q by del x so this is our q okay del q by del x if we differentiate this with respect to x you will get twice y minus del p by del y so this is our p if we differentiate this with respect to p first term will become 0 minus 2y then dx dy so x equal to 0 to a y equals to 0 to b and then 4y dx dy now see here limit of x and limit of y are independent in the previous two problem we see that the limit of y is dependent on x so we have to integrate y first and then x but here no 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 problem either you can do the integration with respect to y first or x first so anyone you can do so let us take four outside keep oh, the integration of y uh, x so let us integrate it with respect to y so integration y is y square by 2 between the limit 0 to b dx 2 and 4 cancel out so we have only 1 2 integration x equal to 0 to a if you put the limit you will get b square dx okay b square dx so b square is also constant then integration x between the limit 0 to what a so if you put the limit you will get 2 b square a this is the answer okay 2 b square a. so the problems are very very simple here we use green's theorem and in the previous two problem we verify green's theorem so in this particular problem why you can uh, use green's theorem because you see f bar dot dr bar this is of the form p dx and q dy and p is a polynomial q is a polynomial so they will be continuous and their partial derivatives are also continuous so i hope uh, the all the examples of green's theorem are very much clear to all of you so if you uh, like the video so kindly share with your friends and subscribe and also like thank you very much until the next video